is anybody 100% happy with their circumstances or with their life? And maybe it's just contentment. You may not have everything you want, but maybe you're content and you're grateful for it. So there's that part of it too. Hey guys, it's me, Talia Arisa Gibson. You can call me Tag for short and welcome to my channel. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe. Today I have some Pollo Regio. Yes. So Pollo Regio is a mesquite grilled chicken place. And they have other things besides grilled chicken. They have, you can get, um chorizo you can get beef um and different things but that's what they're known for their chicken is really 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 good and i usually will get their like half chicken and it comes with sides and then it comes with tortillas and it it'll last me like two or three meals but um i wanted to try their burrito today because i haven't had a burrito in forever and i was like let me try their burrito so i got their chicken burrito here and you can see um it has their miscreet grilled chicken has cheese it has avocado yum it's big <laughs> um i have some rice here um you can see their rice i have beans i really love their charo chato beans or charo beans <laughs> but this is refried refried beans um they have this amazing green verde sauce oh my gosh it's so good and I got, I added on some guacamole and I added on some cheese. I don't want to move the cheese um, here and the chips. So the meal came with the burrito, the beans and rice. And then I added on chips, guacamole and cheese. Um, there's another green sauce here. They gave me some pico de gallo with cilantro there. And then also some sour cream here. So I'm going to say a prayer and get started. Dear God, thank you for this food that I'm about to eat. Thank you for this day. I ask that you be with my viewers. Keep them happy, healthy, and safe. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. So guys, I also have some horchata. And it's a rice drink. Um, so yeah, they forgot to give me a straw though. So I'm going to... So I don't know if you can see. I don't, oh, oh, I think I just spilled that. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to get that up. So my old school cup here, <laughs> cheers. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Let's see here. All right, let's get into this burrito. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. Mm. Their chicken, so flavorful. And the sauce, Salsa, best, best, best. Mm. Mm -hmm. I need to buy like a big thing of this just to have. Mm. So good. Let's get into this rice. Some rice for you. Mm -hmm. So, so good. Mmm. Beans are nice and good. Mm. Also have a green jalapeno back here. It's grilled. Mm. Woo. Mm-hmm. 
How are y'all doing? Some cheese here. Mm-hmm. Get into that guacamole. That could use a little more salt. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. right, I'm gonna add some salt to this um, guac. It needs it. Much better. Get back into this burrito. Yummy, yummy. Mm. I'm telling you, the salsa is everything. The salsa is everything. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I take some beans and the rice. Mm -hmm. mm. That's good. Mm. This horchata is really good. I don't know all the ingredients to make horchata, but they blend it all together and it makes this delicious, creamy drink. You can also get um, You could also make um, a spiked horchata alcoholic beverage. <laughs> like this would probably be good with some Baileys or hmm, dark rum. That would probably be good too. Mm. I don't know if this is regular sour cream or the Mexican crema. Let's see. That's just sour cream. Mm. Of this pico salsa mm -hmm. I'm 
That's good. Yeah. I don't have much to talk about. I haven't had a burrito in forever. I probably should have got the pickled um, jalapenos. That one's not spicy. And it has the seeds in it and everything. Let's see. A little bit. Mm. So I know you can find these all over the Dallas Fort Worth area. But I'm not sure about um, elsewhere. Mm. I'm already getting full. Mm -hmm. That's a bulky burrito. And I only ate half. Tastes like there's vanilla, maybe some cinnamon. Mm. That's good. I think I could finish this other half and I'm gonna go for part of it. Right for you. Mm. 
Mm. It was hard to talk today, y'all. Woo. You know, one thing I was thinking about is like the idea of happiness and joy. Um, the other day, we had um, an unexpected day off from work because we had um, ice on the ground and so we didn't have to go into work because traveling on the ice, dangerous and streets um, with black ice and stuff like that. And everybody was so excited to go home and not have to go to work the next day. And I was thinking about like, how many people are 100% happy with their career or the path that they've chosen or taken to um to work I don't know I just think about that sometimes because it just seems like sometimes people are so happy to not go to work and so it's like are we really doing what makes us 100% happy? Or is just working in itself um, just not like, let's put, well, so for example, let's say you came into like a million dollars or you hit the lottery, whatever it might be. Would you immediately quit your job and walk away from it? Or would you keep working? Would you just reduce the amount of hours? Um, would you go start a business? Like, what is it that really makes you happy? And I understand, like, true joy comes internally um, and shouldn't be so circumstantial, whereas happiness, like, eating a meal can make you happy, but then you could also be sad. So... Happiness can kind of be based on circumstance where joy is kind of something that um, is internal, if that makes sense. I don't even know how to really explain it. But I just wonder about that. Like, how many of you are 100% happy with your career, with your life choices that you made, um, with your circumstances that you're in now? If you don't work or you're a stay-at-home mom or... If you have your own business, are you 100% happy with that decision or that circumstance that you are currently in? And I wonder about that because there are a lot of great things that I like about my job and my career. But there's also times where I'm like, man, I would love to be doing this. Or I would love to be doing that. Um, I think it's cool, like the content creators who have made it to a point where they are 100% reliant on just creating. I think that's awesome uh, to be able to get to that point. And so I just wonder, um, even with thinking about like the mukbang community, for example, I'm not gonna name any names, but there's some um, mukbangers who eat like tons and tons of food and um, you see their transition from this person to this person and you wonder like, are they deep down truly happy or are they doing it because that's what gets them their money and that's what gets them the bag, the check. And so I think about even like corporate America. You have people making tons of money sometimes depending on what field they're in and their position or whatever it might be. Are they 100% happy with that career? Um, or are they just working through it 
just because it gets them there financially. Um, in the education world, you think of like people who go up to be, pre um, not president, <laughs> people who go up the ladder to become principals and then go up the ladder to become like a superintendent of a school district. Are they 100% happy with that position? Do they feel like that's a calling or are they going up the ladder because of the check? Um, and I think sometimes it could be a mix of of it all. But I just wonder about that. Sometimes my mind just has me thinking about things, you know. Is anybody 100% happy with their circumstances or with their life? Maybe it's just contentment. You may not have everything you want, but maybe you're content and you're grateful for it. So there's that part of it too. But Some days, I just want to do something else. Some days, I get frustrated. Um, working in the education world, um, there's things I, that I agree with and there's things that I don't agree with. And one of my str main struggles is in the public education system, just how important like high stakes testing is and standardized testing and this determining funding for this school and if you're doing this this determining you not getting funding and all of it boiling down to kids suffering based on scores um and then there's so much um currently you have so many people entering the profession who don't have to go through the process of getting all of the education that some of us had to do because my bachelor degree is not in education at all it's in apparel design and manufacturing and um i later went back to school when i lived in las vegas and i did a um alternative licensure to become a teacher but my program I actually had to go to a university, take all of the education classes that someone who got a bachelor's degree in education had to take. I had to take those same classes. It took me almost two years to do my alternative certification. I also had to do the student teaching. Um, I did a year and a half of student teaching before I entered an actual classroom and had a job as an actual teacher. So that used to be the process. But nowadays, you can basically have a bachelor degree and go through an alternative licensure and sometimes enter the classroom right away while you're working on the alternative part. And it's not taking all the classes and stuff that um, I had to take or someone who had an actual bachelor in education. So times are different. So I think about all those factors and I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I get really frustrated and I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> and some days I'm like, this was great. I feel like I made a difference today. <laughs> I'm not in the classroom anymore. I haven't been a classroom teacher for about three years now. So, but still, all of that still impacts me. If 
I don't eat any more chips, beans and rice, I can finish that burrito. Mainly because this is the first meal of the day. Probably my only meal of the day. And this burrito, I don't think will be any good warming it up because it has avocado in it. Um, I'm just not trying to eat um, warm avocado. I know you can. But, mm. y'all, I am stuffed. I didn't even need the order of um, guacamole because this sauce is really all I needed. This sauce is good with dipping chips into all, as well. Mm -hmm. I should have got some extra tortillas. So I could eat like the beans and rice and tortillas later. <laughs> but I don't think I want anything after eating this. Because I'm really forcing myself to finish this. Because I'm on the verge of being overstuffed. I don't like to be overstuffed. But I hope I hope each of you have found that sense of happiness mm. Woo. or joy, internal joy. So that way, even when you're frustrated with work, that you're still able to remain joyful because you're grateful. And you know that it could be way worse. I think that's what we all have to remind ourselves. I know for me, I said I was going to be out of the classroom in 10 years. And after my 10th year of teaching in the classroom, I was out of the classroom in a leadership position. Working with teachers, training teachers, modeling for teachers, doing workshops. So I have to remind myself that I prayed for this. I asked for this opportunity to be out of the classroom. So when I get frustrated, I have to remind myself that I asked for this. And also, what lessons or what things am I supposed to learn through all of this? I wasn't sure if I was going to like that horchata, but it's really, really good. Mm. 
but horchata is a rice drink i really want to try the um puerto rican drink um it's made from like coconuts and stuff i forgot what it's called but i, I know they add rum to it that one for sure is a alcoholic drink you can probably make it non-alcoholic as well this one is not alcoholic but you could probably make it alcoholic well you can i know you can buy like horchata like an alcoholic beverage mm. y'all i'm stuffed overstuffed can't believe i ate that burrito but i still have a lot of beans and rice left so once i slowed down on that i was able to finish the burrito but guys thanks so much for tuning in again i hope you find your joy and that you remember that it could always be worse and if you're not in a place where you want to be or if you're trying to achieve something set a goal set some action steps for reaching that goal and make it happen and that's what we all have to do and if you don't like something work on changing it that's what uh les brown always says you know you don't have to stay in a circumstance that you don't want to be in work on changing it so yeah on that note guys thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to like comment share subscribe and always hit that bell notification so you'll know when i post until next time Bye. Oh, no. Like, comment, subscribe.